Are you ready to join me in transforming fear to freedom? That's the objective of the show. Are you ready to explore with me and my guests? Are you ready to get into the deep and play? This is where it's at, and that's what it's all about. No medical advice here. Use discernment and decide for yourself if the information is right for you. All views and opinions expressed on this show belong to the individual and are not necessarily shared with the producer of the show. Want more details? Go to Let's Get Real Chat with Catherine.com. Now let's get real and have some fun. Who are we going to explore with today? Come on with me and let's get into the deep. who we're going to explore with today, we're going to talk to John McGuire. John McGuire is the director and founder of the Kinesiology Institute. He's out of Los Angeles, but he works distantly. He works with people all over the world. He's worked on many continents, with different countries, and he's got some amazing tools. He is an expert in kinesiology. He is uh, an expert in many fields, and some of his training, you know, uh, and certifications are in holistic health, are in neuro linguistic training, um, are in uh, applied kinesiology, are in all kinds of um, posture integration, massage therapy, personal training. He's worked with um, acupuncture meridians. He works with people in, in different fields of careers, like athletes who really obviously can work can work with kinesiology to better themselves he works with scientists he works with natural health practitioners just works with everybody and he's got tools that are accessible online he gives us his website to uh, refer to because he's got all kinds of resources coming out fast and furious and he's a passionate guy he he's done his homework he and he shares what he's learned with us so I, I just you can read his bio on lgrcc.com it's all his training and and all kinds of information which is really awesome you can also get the website links there on the inspired guest tab on the top navigation bar he's there with a whole lot of other inspiring people that are changing the world helping us to create that exquisite world that I keep talking about but you know he gave us a lot of tips on different ways to use these the kinesiology and muscle testing for career and for business for money for all kinds of ways that we can um, find a better way to navigate how to do things better in it and sometimes easier he's all about shortcuts he's all about doing it fast I love that I love his energy I love his his enthusiasm I love the fun he loves to have teaching what he knows and the fact that he's sharing it with us so I spent some time with him a little bit at the kinesiology conference international kinesiology conference 2015 in Banff Alberta Canada in September and then um, so we had a chat today follow that up and also include a little clip from his presentation at the conference but I really think this is a time when we are ready to know there are better tools to use easier ways to, to thrive we're not getting off this planet alive we all know that so let's thrive while we're here and let's get that information and you know the way he explains things it's 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 the ease I love ease and grace in my life and I, I'm imagining that a lot of you do too so let's get into this chat with John right now and I hope you enjoy it subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any make sure you um, like it and share it with your friends if you do so and and also anytime comment and uh, we'll respond so thanks so much let's get into this chat right now with John McGuire on let's get real chatting with Catherine So I am having a chat today with John McGuire, who is one of the presenters at the International Kinesiology Conference 2015 in Banff, Alberta, Canada. And John has an extensive bio, which you can read on lgrcc.com. And one of the um, things that I want to talk to John about today is he is the founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute. And you've been doing this work for a long time, John. Uh, 1989 is around? Well, actually, uh, 82, I became a Touch for Health instructor, and I started studying, um, yeah, in, in basic forms of kinesiology back in the 70s. So, yes, I've been teaching it for 33 years now. 
Wow. So when you uh, you put on uh, workshops, teleseminars, um, and you're training all over the world, it looks like you, you've been training scientists, you've been training sports athletes and, and the work. So what kind of training do you do? Well, we have a, a variety of courses, both for lay people and for health professionals, including online seminars, as well as hands-on workshops, and, and a combination of both. So we we present primarily programs for people to learn how to become kinesiologists or taking their skills in kinesiology a lot further. Right. So right. they are professionals, becoming professionals. Well, you... Uh... You studied, you studied and worked with Dr. Goodhart and Dr. John Thie, who are the pioneers in this kind of work. Um, so you're kind of carrying on what they sort of birthed in, in a way, aren't you? Yeah, it, it was just a great privilege for me to have both George Goodhart as my one of my first instructors. And then from here, I studied with him for one year. And at the very end of that program, I become a touch for, became a Touch for Health instructor and then was able to go and start working with John Thie in his clinic, actually as his kind of a chiropractic assistant, and then became the program director of the Touch for Health Foundation. So I got to see you know, the real beginnings uh, and the people that, that really were at the, the root of it all. So I had that great honor and privilege to have that experience. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, people, when I was at the conference, people were always referring to both of these people as, you know, being their mentors or their inspiration or their, you know, part of their, their world. So it's, it's pretty uh, delightful to be able to talk to somebody who actually worked with these uh, iconic men. Yes. And so you are a Touch for Health instructor, and then you also do training programs with kind of some other aspects of, because I, I noticed you're doing neuro-linguistic uh, things, and you have a lot of tools in your toolbox. Yeah, I've <laughs> kind of been a workshop junkie since the day one. I actually studied neuro-linguistic programming way back in the 70s before I even was aware of, of, of applied kinesiology and Touch for Health. And I'm just always, always wanting to learn. Every day I'm studying, so I, I just got to, again, I've got a, a great experience in, in a variety, a wide variety of techniques because that's the beauty of kinesiology is it ties it all together. You know, we use muscle testing as a way of asking the body what does it want, what's it need, what's out of balance, and what is the appropriate and best way to get back into balance. So it, it really, that's the beauty of kinesiology, is it really is open to everything that works, and then you can plug it in. It's like, it's just a total integrated system that way. Mm. And your workshops, uh, although like you're working with scientists or, or athletes at times and practitioners, are they, can this kind of uh, learning, understanding be applied to pretty much every kind of walk of life? Would it like a workshop if I attended it as, you know, in my profession, let's say as a media person or a person who's um, doing um, a desk job or some other kind of, is it something that can be transferred or is it, do you find that it's really more specific to practitioners in, in kinesiology or natural health? Well, it certainly is for people in, in uh, natural health, but it is great for all kinds of things. Like you mentioned, there's a whole system called educational kinesiology where it helps people with learning problems, like Charles Krebs' work. We, we're uh, presenting some of his programs. Dr. Charles Krebs has a way of, of enhancing your learning and your brain capacity. Uh, it's great for athletes. I, back in the 90s, developed a program on sports kinesiology, and we have many of our students that went on to work with world-class and top athletes using this. Uh, many have gone on to create world records even. Mm. Uh, it's great for um, even in terms of business. Uh, we use it for analyzing like the muscle test can tell you, you know, it's a manual muscle test that people are probably familiar with that are, are listening here, where you can look at something and your body tells you whether it gives you energy or not. So as I'm looking even at a marketing piece, like I used it for my logo, where my graphic artist was showing me all these different logos. Hey, do you want this logo? Do you want that? And I would muscle test, and the ones that 
you know, were strong, then I said, okay, keep developing that. And the ones that were weak, I said, nah, don't need that. <laughs> so you can use it for basically uh, pretty much any application where you want to say, what does, as the saying in Coke is, what, what adds life and what diminishes life, which Coke actually doesn't add life when you <laughs> test it, but, you know. <laughs> So, uh, it's well, that pretty... brings up a good point then. If it adds life, you know, when it, Coke's logos and stuff like that, not that I, you know, we're just using them as an example, but um, mm -hmm. would have, when you look at it from that perspective, if they were muscle testing and they, if they did that kind of process, they might have found that it add that logo and that image and whatever added life to them. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to add it to the people, you know, that product yeah. itself to the person. So each person has to be individual in what's going to work for you may not work for me. So that that's well, where that, the muscle testing comes in, right? Yeah, that's true to, to some degree in, in terms of the actual product. Not a, whole, a lot of people will test strong on Coke. Right. But yeah, you're, you're, there's a bio-individuality that what's one pe person's... Um, Medicine could be another person's poison in terms of that. Of course, we were just talking about logos, but yeah, there's there's certain things that um, people individually will test strong for that someone else wouldn't. But then there's you know like let's say ninety eight percent of people would test weak for something where you know we're looking for how about let's get a hundred percent of people testing strong for something. So right. there's a whole book uh, by you, you may have heard of. Um, Power versus force yes. by David Hawkins. I have it. Yes. And, yeah. yeah. And he, Excellent. yeah, yeah. He talks a lot about that. How people can um, do muscle testing for all kinds of things. And he was actually a student of Dr. Sheldon Deal, the doctor that we present his AKShortcuts.com. And in fact, any of your listeners that want to go on and, and watch a free preview of Dr. Deal, who's the original. Uh, one of the original founders of the International College of Applied Kinesiology, they can go on AK, as in Applied Kinesiology, shortcuts.com, and they can actually watch a free uh, preview of some of Dr. Deal's material. Well, anyway, this uh, Dr. Deal ha has one of his students, uh, David Hawkins, and he actually <laughs> did a PhD in an alternative program that Sheldon was one of the professors for, he did a PhD in um, kinesiology, applied kinesiology, Dr. Hawkins did. And so his dissertation, he then turned into the book um, that we just talked about, Power the versus uh, Power versus Force. Yeah. Right. So uh, he talks about how you can test things to see, do they add energy or do they not? And, and that's a real universal application as you were talking about you know, that goes even beyond health professionals of how you can use this tool to find out, uh, you know, even things like decisions that you're going to make. It's even interesting. I would do it for dates. You know, I, I don't, I don't use it for not, not uh, going out on a date, but I mean like dates to do something. Yes. yes. <laughs> I guess you could too. People say, you ought to, you ought to come up with a kinesiology dating service. But <laughs> so I was doing this back in, uh, in the year 2001. I was testing ahead of time to see when's the best date to schedule a workshop. Well, I keep getting the, the date was September um, 8th and 9th, and I usually would do my introductory workshops later in the month, but it said, no, don't do your workshop later in the month. You know, I'm, I'm doing this like, you know, probably in June or something or July, and it said, schedule the workshop for September 8th and 9th. So I said, okay. So <laughs> I was getting yes or no response. So you, right. you put the arm out and say, what's the best date? And it, I would say September, you know, 15th, 16th or whatever, and it'd go week, and it, it said September 8th and 9th. So I taught the class, and then two days later, you know what happened on September 11th? Wow. 2000. And I thought afterwards, wow, that's amazing. Was there something in the air, in the body, in the field of energy? Because that's what we're tapping into. We're tapping into a universal field of energy that has information that we, our ego minds don't necessarily have. So right. when we quiet our, our, our smaller minds and tap into this information that's in the higher mind, there's that field of energy and I believe William Tiller probably talked about that when you're talking to him, how you know everything's connected. So that's kind of what you can tap into in this in this realm of kinesiology to sometimes get very interesting pieces of information that Dr. David Hawkins 
alludes to in his book. Right. And in, in the higher vibrations and in the energy field, there is no time. So we can get the information now, even though it's not happened or it's. Yeah. So that's that's fantastic to be able to. to and to this is where, you know, I think it's important for people to know that the tools are we don't all have to re you know reinvent the wheel we can tap into this information that has been brought forward by the many people like you say and plus uh because we don't all have the gift of teaching like you you're a student and you're saying you, you you've been taking all the workshops and you're a workshop guru but you also have taken that information and become a really amazing teacher so you're offering the, you know, the, the fruit of your labors, basically, of, of learning all this and put it together in a nice, comprehensive way. Um, when I witnessed your, your presentation at the International Kinesiology Conference, I've, it was immediately from the get-go, um, as soon as you were on in, in that session, it was full of energy. You know, you had people moving and up, and, it was, and I thought that was a, a pretty good indicator of somebody who's, who's passionate about teaching their, what they know. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I, I'm, I'm passionate, that's for sure. And when <laughs> I teach, it's, it's about energy. And why don't we have energy when we're teaching? So yeah, I, a lot of my courses people find is really fun because um, that's really where you learn the best, when you're having fun and you're in high, a high energy state. Exactly. So um, yeah, we, what I pride myself on too is making things very simple and easy to understand. I started that in my class. I said, if you like simple and easy, you're in the right place. If you want hard and complicated, go somewhere else. I, <laughs> I like simple and easy. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and I think that's you've got a nice combination. Simple and easy plus fun equals really uh, intense learning. And you, yeah. and you don't even notice, you know, that's when we do have the most fun. So you're doing some pretty, um, pretty exciting workshops right now with um, online and so forth. Can you tell us about what th some of the things people might find if they went to your website they, they available either in person or online? Yeah, well, uh, at the kinesiologyinstitute.com, we have beginner courses, which is our, our fundamentals. Uh, I, I was teaching... Uh, touch for Health all over the world. I think I've taught in 14 different countries. And the, uh, the thing that I found is a lot of people found it was too hard, too difficult to learn the basics because in Touch for Health, they, they want to start with learning the 14 muscle balance, which is a great thing to learn, but a lot of people found it too difficult. So in my fundamentals course, I show the basics that you can get results right away with the simplest of techniques, people are finding major pain going away, um, finding their optimum diet, learning how to clear emotional stress profoundly uh, uh, affecting people with the basic skills. So that's what I teach in my fundamentals course. That okay. lays down the, the ABCs that we build on from there. And from there, people go on into many times my certification program or parts of it that they can study uh, independently. So each block is an independent standalone course, such as I have my structural balancing, where we show a lot of the, uh, the additional muscles in Touch for Health, plus the, uh, the skills that work with the TMJ, temporal mandibular joint, the cranials, uh, joint problems, spinal alignment, pelvic alignment, uh, the things that are, are very commonly needed. That's another thing. I, I do what's called high percenters, things that you often find out. And when you correct them, you get the biggest bang for the buck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? And so that's our structural. Then we go on into our, um, our energy balancing, balancing course where we, we have the basics of Chinese medicine. And again, I like to teach the easiest approaches and the shortcuts that Sheldon Deal prides himself on too. So you can find out things fast. And that's what I was presenting in Canada. There's a, a series of about a dozen different AK um, energy shortcuts that you can find exactly which acupuncture point can balance the entire body, how to find quickly what's where the over energy is, the meridians that have too much energy, where the ones that are deficient. In 15 seconds, you can find out what's the priority under energy. And that's the, the, the crux of all of this is balancing energy. All problems in the body, in the mind, in our health, all boil down to this. It's 
energy blockage. If you can remove the blockage and balance the energy, symptoms go away naturally, especially if you catch it early before it's gone full blown into manifesting into a major disease process. Right, right. So we don't treat disease, we don't diagnose disease, we find where energy is blocked and we balance it. And the body can often then heal itself and come into not only health, but into optimum performance, which is why, you know, the athletes love this. So that's our energy course. And then just to touch Energy's on the other. Energy's all online. Yeah, we have them both online and hands-on because we have students as far away as, gosh, I got Singapore, I got a student in, um, we've got, you know, China, we have um, Japan, we have students in uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, over in Eastern Europe, uh, of course, all over Canada, um, throughout you know, North America, uh, Central America. We're um, looking to go into South America, but we, we've got people that are going to be translating our programs there because mo mainly it's a southern, uh, either uh, Portuguese or, of course, Spanish speaking. We've had people in Africa. So there's um, people so, that are so wanting to study online that just don't have the facility to bop into a hands-on workshop, you know, say in North America. Right. Are you, do you have practitioners that are uh, under your, your kinesiology institute so people can uh, go to your website and then find out in their area where someone went, might be or how does that work? Yeah, we're actually developing a new website which should be up in a month where we're going to start linking people into other practitioners elsewhere. We, we ha actually have a, an instructor in Europe. We have a couple people that are teaching over there. Um, so, yes, if there are people in other areas, if, if, if nothing else, they can email uh, info at kinesiologyinstitute.com. And, of course, that kinesiology spelled K-I-N-E-S-I-O-L-O-G-Y, institute.com. And we can put them uh, together uh, with one if they can't find it on our website. Right. And where are you primarily located, John? Um, primarily located inside my skin, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is Los Angeles at the moment. Okay. Uh, tomorrow I'll be in uh, Newark, New Jersey. So we have classes that I teach in Secaucus, just across from uh, Manhattan by the Lincoln Tunnel there. And uh, so we have courses in, that I teach in New Jersey and in Long Beach in the L.A. area. And then I have other instructors in uh, San Francisco doing the hands-on courses. Uh, we have courses we're presenting in the German-speaking countries with our instructors there. We're actually looking to branch into the U.K. and Scotland uh, where we have instructors. So, uh, but we're actually looking for more and more instructors because we're growing exponentially. So anyone that wants to... Um, pursue this training with us and open up another area, we're actually excited about um, opportunities there. Uh, we also work with Donna Eden in the Eden Energy Medicine. If you're familiar with her, we just presented one of her online courses uh, to people from 23 different countries. Mm. Yeah, and she does amazing work. Yeah, so uh, we're kind of the leader. Our Kinesiology Institute is becoming the leader in the online education platform because uh, we've done a lot of work getting high quality video where we can do high definition video and broadcast it where people can be watching it live just like they're in the front row of a class, which is what we're doing this weekend with Dr. Deal in Newark. So people, um, again, from Singapore are going to be watching it, again, like they're in the front row with the camera right there. So that's why, you know, it's, it's really exciting to see online learning get out to people that would never have the opportunity to learn this. Yes, exactly. And, and, and also to be able to have the, not just learning, like you said, they're going to be in the front row of a classroom. I'm imagining it's also the interactive, like there's a resource yeah. involved in this. Yeah, they're, they're actually able to ask questions. Mm -hmm. And we can say, okay, uh, Lawrence from Singapore wants to know this. And Donna did this with uh, our class uh, last month. She was able to um, basically address questions from all over the world. Um, and that way, and that's really what I found the best learning was when I was able to ask questions and get answers. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there, there's so many questions pop up when you're doing this. 
And if you can't get the answers, you can't move forward. Exactly. So, so we, we offer that, that they can get it either if it's on a live class where they can get an answer right on, on the class. Like when I do uh, classes from my studio here in Los Angeles, we have people you know on the spot uh, sending questions in. Then we also have the replays. That's the other benefit of online learning is where you can watch it over and over and over again. In fact, I used to do that before we had online learning. I would buy the videos of every class I attended, and then I'd go watch the video, and I'd say, well, I was in the class, and he never said that in the class, even though it was recorded from the class. You know how our mind just goes yeah. to a place? And then yeah. I'd watch the, the video a second time and say, well, that wasn't on the video the first time. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. Our brain is, get, we get saturated, and we kind of close down, and then you yeah. watch it again, and you pick up more and more information, which is awesome. So when you do uh, these online training, people do have, get resources that they can continue as part of the, the packaging? or Yeah, yeah. In, on the website, as soon as it's done, they can immediately watch the replay. Okay. So then uh, the replays, we edit um, into a higher quality, finely tuned, you know, presentation. So that way, instead of having to wait, you know, like in a live class, you're waiting for somebody to get to the front of the room. He says, okay, I need a volunteer that does this. And then boom, you on the edited version, you see that person right on the table and, or demonstrating with them. So it's a, 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 a tighter edited package. So it, it saves time as well. And those again are high definition video. So people love that, that they can, you know, watch the replays as many times as they like. And then they can pause it, take notes, you know, uh, email us questions if it's a replay, and then we get back to them with the answers. In fact, we often have Sheldon, Dr. Deal, um, doing a once a month a question and answer program. So people, you know, as questions arise, even if it's from something that was filmed a year or two ago, they can still get those questions answered. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's part of our membership program that we're now starting to offer. This month we're introducing that. And see, I spend so much money. I'm sure I've spent over $100,000 on my education. But a lot of people can't afford that. So we're making it affordable for them to get high-quality education in a way they especially don't have to travel because travel often makes it triple the price of whatever the workshop is by the time you fly pay your hotel and your travel expenses so that's why online so learning is so great you know from the comfort of your own home you can do it for such a fraction of the cost so mm -hmm. and usually what, on your what, own time so, schedule Exactly, yeah. If you want to watch it two to three in the morning, you can. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, and that and, and that makes it, makes it more accessible to more people um, because they don't have to quit your job to go and take this training program or whatever. You can do it while you're doing while you're doing something else, or yeah, or absolutely. as you have said before, this isn't just about that, but we can apply it to other areas of our life. So it's not just that you want to get into a job where you're working as a kinesiologist or in that field, but you take the information and apply it to another area of your life. Yeah. So, so this is, this is super fantastic. And all of this information and resources are available on your website. Yeah. Go to kinesiologyinstitute.com. Okay. And again, we're coming out with a new integrated website that's going to be up uh, within the month. So come back and visit if you haven't seen it yet where we're going to have a lot of free videos that you can click on and watch. Fantastic. Um, and and uh, so that way they can get uh, even free online samples of learning, uh, like particularly our muscle testing course, where I, we show how to do accurate muscle testing. See, for me, muscle testing is a skill that would be so great to have as our elementary education. I have a 12-year-old daughter and she knows how to muscle test and she can find out information about you know what food to eat what not to eat and uh, she actually did a report on the the hazards of gmo food for her uh, uh sixth grade class <laughs> so you know she's uh she's very advanced and she's known muscle testing since you know she, we've been doing it since she was 3 and 4 as 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 quick as she could put an arm out and hold <laughs> well it, it's a life skill i mean it's it's yeah. to me it's more important than learning to tie your shoes because you're going to, you can apply it to everything yeah yeah and and any more um like there's reading writing and arithmetic well i even even though i took advanced uh, calculus in high school AP I still use my calculator in my phone, you know, whenever I have to add two numbers. <laughs> right. But, 
but you don't have a you know to have muscle testing is one of your primary skills um, and that's see another benefit and we really emphasize this in our class is for our personal health yeah it's great to help balance other people but the key is you want to have your health you know where you're la living as long and as high quality life for as long as possible and so I'm balancing myself every day using these techniques and I can do, we, we teach in our classes how to do self-testing. So even if you're by yourself, you can touch points on your body, do self-testing and find exactly what meridian is out of balance, what are the exact points to work, and keep yourself tuned up every day. So that's, that's such an important aspect of this too, that people will do it for their benefit. And yeah, and it's important to know how to do it properly so that you're actually getting the correct you know, you're actually getting the answers as they are, not just as you wish they are. <laughs> yeah, accurate information. In fact, that's one of the, the fundamental skills. You hit it right on the head there, Catherine. The first thing we teach is to have a, an unbiased attitude when you're doing muscle testing and an intention to get accurate results because you can sway the muscle test. So um, that way, I, I basically, when I'm going in to test somebody, you know, I'll, we'll do double blind tests and make sure that our tests are accurate because if I want to show something is weak or strong on somebody, my mind itself can produce that result. So I'm always going in and especially with myself saying, okay, body, give me the truth. I want the truth. And the body then will reveal to you, you know, the energy body, is it enhancing your health or is there a block here? And so that is a very important point. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that there's just so many tools available. And, and what I like is that you've done a lot of this. You've done the research, like, like you say, you know, you spent the money and the time to actually kind of like the squirrel gathering up everything so that and offering us the best of the best because you have that's what I say you have such an, a vast toolbox of, of things to to offer people to tools to use for life skills for career skills for for just a better way of living and uh, so I'm really impressed thank you very much yes and, and we're bringing in more people like there's so many great kinesiologists out there I've I've worked with Wayne Topping in fact we presented touch for health the first touch for health instructor training in in Russia and so Wayne's going to be coming I, I met him there in um, Banff at the conference and he's going to be coming on to our faculty as well so we're going to have his courses uh, in the spring. We're going to be recording them. We're also going to be working with, uh, we already mentioned Donna Eden. We have uh, Wally Schmidt we're talking about. He's probably the most talented and knowledgeable kinesiologist in the world, Dr. Wally Schmidt, who was one of the doctors I studied with along with George Goodhart. They taught the program together. We have Charles Krebs programs we're going to be bringing online. He's, he's brilliant. He br wrote a fantastic book I highly recommend called energetic kinesiology so that's where we're, we're really bringing the best of the world on our platform that people can study their work because they're all great yes. and it's just a matter of of uh, you know you kind of it's sort of like um, you know there's a lot of great cars out there for instance so you go and test drive the various cars and you find well I like Mercedes better than say BMW or vice versa, you know. Yeah. We bring the best of the kinesiologists. That's our, our goal here is to bring them all out to the world so people can study, you know, their programs with us um, and, and really get um, great skills that they can immediately apply to their life. Well, and, and as we each individually uh, resonate with different ways of being taught, you know, and, and so different people are bringing out similar information or they're capturing you know dr dr krebs's work is is just amazing but if somebody doesn't fully grasp it from from that point of view someone else will brings forward a little key and then boom you get it you know so that's right. the wonder of having so many people together working together in these in these ways and what you're doing is so fantastic for the future and or at least that's how I see it the future looks very very bright and I was so impressed at the at the conference to see so many people looking at the world in a very positive way and that they're bringing forward their gifts in this positive way so um, I'm just pleased to be happy to be able to participate and share this with more people so 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I feel like we, you know, this is, I just really wanted to introduce people to your work because it is so vast and to let people know where to go to access it. Is there anything else you felt, John, that you would like to, to share before we end our chat today? Well, one of the things I mentioned at the conference that I'm beginning to work with a, a whole crew on is we're coming up with a documentary on kinesiology to really bring it out to the world, to the masses. Because this work is so fantastic, it is so powerful, people are getting amazing results that were unable through other conventional approaches to medicine, though there's certainly times where conventional medicine is totally what you need. Uh, but we have a movie that we're producing uh, that will be coming out to really give people in the mainstream awareness of w- the power of this work and, uh, and how it is a, a very viable alternative or complementary uh, system to health care as well as you know, to all the other aspects. And when talking. is that expected? Well, it's just in the planning stages right now and we're looking at financing it. It's going to be a major like $100,000 or more production so we're, we're probably going to be starting that fi- uh, financing the beginning of the year because we're, we're just so busy with projects so far. Mm-hmm. But that is something you know, that will be on the horizon. And if anyone wants to get on our mailing list to be posted on that, they can go to uh, kinesiologyinstitute.com. And there's various places there where you can uh, opt in to just say, hey, I want, I want information about like the uh, courses on um, the free muscle testing classes and things like that where – then we will keep them posted on that. So that's, for me, a very, very exciting thing that uh, I'm, I'm so proud to be able to uh, share with the world. Yes, and it, because it is a, you're going to be talking about what's, what's actually possible, and I think people really can relate to that much better than just the, the information presented, even in workshops. When people see, ah, this is how it works in someone's life, this is what happens, you know, that's where that evidence-based um, learning actually really can, you know, like they talk about the hundredth monkey, that's kind of where something like that, a movie like that, will have that kind of impact, or I would think it will. Yes, and, and also in the movie, we're going to be sharing a lot of things they can do right away. Mm. Like, one of the simplest one I'll just give and close with is the uh, ear unrolling technique. I was presenting Touch for Health back in 1994 at an Anthony Robbins event. Um, in fact, I've been part of his Life Mastery uh, faculty. So if you go to a Tony Robbins program at his Life Mastery University, you'll see videos of me. It used to be live. Now we're all on video. Yeah. And, and so Dr. Deal, uh, or sh- uh, actually Dr. Thee, when I ask him, hey, what should I share with him? He says, share with them the ear unrolling technique because everyone benefits from that so simply. And the way you do it is you turn your head from right to left. And you can try this right now, Catherine, and see if it's stiff one way or the other. And then what you simply do is you take the rolled over part of your ear with your thumb and fingers, like on both sides, and you take from the top and you kind of pull the ear, like to pull it away from the opening so you're making your ears bigger and you unroll the rolled over part and you just simply kind of move back until you go around the ear to the back and to the bottom and you do that about three times just pulling it open and unrolling the rolled over part at the top of your ear and around the back and and after doing that three times I want you then to try moving your head from right to left again and boy I just found it, it Wow, it really enhanced my Wow, that does my, that's my, amazing. Yeah, and so, you know, little things like that you can do. And I actually taught that to a medical doctor and he says, "Hey, I am using that with my patients now and they're loving it because they mm-hmm. get an ex- immediate result." So that's the beauty again of kinesiology is so many of the things we do, you get an immediate result. And yes. uh, and that's what's great about this. It's easy, it's simple, and it's fast. Well, and we are living in a world of we're kind of used to uh, that instant gratification, that instant, you know, we we were kind of trained that way. So it's kind of nice that this fits with a world we're living in today. Yeah. You know, 
uh, it takes five seconds to get an email across the uh, universe. You know, <laughs> why is it taking five seconds for this email? Yeah, and then there's that frustration. Oh, I don't know why technology is not working. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. for, <laughs> forget about it. You remember in World War One, people weren't phoning people on the war zone. Um, you know, now they actually are, which is weird. Yeah, so, Pony Express, you know. It's yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's we gotta a have different now. world. And that's, yeah. <clears throat> and that's how I feel about this information. This, this, it's not like this, this information wasn't always available just because we didn't, you know, understand it the way we do, but it's how we've always operated. We have always been more than our physical bodies. Yeah. Just, we didn't get it. And now we're starting to get it. And like you say, with Dr. Tiller's work and Dr. Krebs and what you're doing and, and, uh, I'm just, I'm just thrilled to be living on the planet at this time while this is going on. It feels yeah. like an exciting time. And, you know, children that you're talking about knowing how to muscle test, that is awesome. That's a great way to move into the future. Well, thanks so much, John. And I will make sure that links are all on the vet, uh, website for people to refer to, to go and read your bio and go to all the websites and get the resources because we each have to do our part. We each have Thank to... You you know, check, check out what, what we can do and the resources are there. So this is awesome. Thanks. Well, thank you. And I, I'm thrilled that you're bringing this out to the world in, in your venue because that's, you know, what it's all about is sharing with others and each of us, you know, discovers it in some way where had that person not shared it, you know, I wouldn't be here today if someone hadn't shared with me, hey, let me show you. I had a chiropractor at the end of my a yoga class I was teaching back in the 70s came up to me and says, here, put your arm out. I want to show you something. I go, wow, that's amazing. He says, come to my office. We're doing a little demonstration on it. So it's, you know, people like that are yeah. getting exposed to things like what you're doing is what's really going to spread it. And, and that's yeah. so beautiful what you're doing. I, I feel so privileged to have this opportunity to, to share with you. So oh, thank you so oh. much. Thank you so much, John. John McGuire on Let's Get Real, chatting with Catherine. And for the rest of you, until next time, take care. Wasn't that amazing? Thank you to my guests for sharing with us today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share the link. You can join us for live shows by going to Let's Get Real, chatting with Catherine.com and listen to the replays from the show page, preview guests, and explore links to our Facebook fan page, WordPress blog, and more. We are creating an exquisite world. Until next time, take care.